Hey there internet crowd, sorry 6 the name and Deus 6 my game. Really short episode today because I don't have much time on my hands. Um, you'll probably also notice the uh, absence of uh, Miss Green, Boy Blue and Sir Red. Well, I apologize for that too, but uh, again, problem of time. Uh, they won't be able to come for now, you know. I asked them to come too late and they won't be here on time, but be sure that it's a special condition and that it's not going to be something they, which is going to to be the norm, you know? That's exceptional for today. So, um, today I guess we might get close to saving a brother, but um, maybe not further than that. Also, I'll play a lot of Maverick. For well, the same reason that I've just explained to you, I don't have much time. Can I upgrade my rifle level? No! I need 45 points! Okay. Well, then I have to play another way. A lot of guys around here. One down here. One up here. One up on the other side, I think. Two dogs. One on each side on the top. The dogs are not really strong, the problem with the dog is that they can spot you from afar. That's the main trouble with the dogs. There's also one guy in here, and there's an alarm in the, the this building. So if the guy in here spots you, well basically, he's gonna ring the bell. As I clearly displayed just here. Um, what else about this room? Yeah, also something I'm gonna show you in this room. Come on, was my clip? Ah, uh, yeah, my clip wasn't full, that's why. Okay, let's do it. Yup, just in the end. Well, yeah, something in this room. You could have go come from the inside by going this way, you know, by going through the van shaft. I showed you one of the entrance earlier. Uh, you could have uh, came out from here or from here, which would have allowed you to take the guy in here down and to avoid, uh, to prevent him from uh, making the alarm ring, uh, easing the job a lot, you know, it would make the thing a lot easier. Um, I want to get out. I will not provide the no, he doesn't time. agree. That's the way they found to force you to go on in this area. You need the code to the door and only Diddleus has the ability to give it to you. Okay, I think I've done everything. And I haven't lost so many ammo, so much ammo, so that's... That's good. Um... I think I've taken everything. I think I do not have the login and the password yet. Uh, anyway, this would not allow me to change much thing. I think it could deactivate one camera or something like that. There's not so much sec- that's strange because that's a lab, so there should be a lot of security, but not that Mr. much. Denton, did you escape? Yeah, so how do you know who I am? I'm a prisoner too, and I say your name every day. Oh. I have cells from your body it Makes and me culture. feel like a god. Your brothers too. My brother? Is he nearby? They have him in the medical area. Agent Denton, believe me, I share your fury at the skill switch functionality. Yeah, sure. Do you know Paul? I bet you help Only them to install it. Disuse. The guards want me to figure out. Oh, you know him from his t-shirt. That sounds like you know this kind of a Japanese say? pervert who so play dumb. No girls by their I try. Their oh, pants. Try. That kind of thing. Maybe you can slip out when I open the main doors. I've already been shot it once, looks kinda you, Asian, but good too. luck. The only code I can give you is 0199. That's to the medical area. Maybe you'd like to see your brother. Yep, I'd like to see that a Thank lot. Thank you very much. The, um, the sentence seems a bit odd, you know, maybe you'd like to see your brother. Yeah, sure, I want to save him. But consider that this dialogue is first designed to um, be used 
if your brother die because normally the normal way to play it would be to let your brother die and go through the window because he asks you to do it so the developers expect you to do that so maybe you want to see your brother takes a whole new meaning when you know that your brother is supposed to be dead you know maybe you'd like to see his body um, in this room there's one floor up here with one guard patrolling there's one guard patrolling here and in the room just right here uh, in the bottom there's two guards and a man in black and man in black also there are I think three doctors including Moreau the one who's talking to you okay, let's go up here you can go from the front side or oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap okay or you can go from the van shaft but it doesn't really help a lot because all the the guards in here can see each other anyway so if you want to be this if you want to be stealthy in this room it's gonna be long I don't want to be stealthy anyway why isn't the alarm ringing? is there no alarm in this room? I thought there was one oh okay oh he spots me yeah, you see, that's what I was telling you about. My sniper now doesn't make any freaking sound. Another way to clear this room would have been to, again, come from the van shaft. And you could have come from this room in the in the bottom. And uh, there's a security um, common panels in this room. And um, by using one you could have uh, released what they call the Greasels which are these creatures who would have attacked everyone including the humans I didn't do that because honestly the Greasels are more difficult to kill than the, all the humans so truly there is really no point in doing that except maybe getting ringed out of the scientist also the alarm is going to ring if you do that so really there's not a lot of things you earn you might notice that I killed uh, this guy in a strange way well I did it for two reasons there's a med bot which allowed me to use my white weapons and losing a bit of life I didn't really care because I was going to refill my life anyway and he had a um, security code which uh, allows you to open I don't recall what exactly but one door see that's what I was telling you about that's not even a security panel that's just a button you press it you realize all the grizzles they're going to attack everyone hmm. whoa remember the briefing oh they come these guys they come from really far I'm impressed that must be the the scientist to have uh, to grow this guy. Well, I don't care if it rings anyway now because I've killed everyone. But I'm feeling better. How do I feel? How do I say? Fuck you! It all goes away. Hmm. Um. This mode, I think, is the head mode. Get the code, if I recall well, you got to hack the computer. Uh, but I told you I was not in hack. And yeah, the code I found on the guard allows you to open two of these drawers. And in one of these drawers, you find that. And that is priceless. It's the list of login and passwords of all and I mean all the UNATCO people you want those it's gonna help you 
in the game and you're going to learn a lot of things. Also, it's interesting to note that not all, but a few of these passwords are usable earlier in the game. So if you already know them, you can use them to go in the computers of, for example, Jamie Reyes or something like that. Here you learn the code to the medical area, which is completely useless because anyway the Dr. Morrow is always going to tell you the code. And you learn the security login and password, P. Sherman and Raven. Which is useful. Does that work with the computer? I wonder. Raven. Yep. So yeah, you can also open the grizzle cages from here. And you can open that. The stasis. Uh, armory to nine one to nine seven one. Okay, to nine seven one for the armory. Uh, I don't even know where the armory is when I come to think of that. If I recall well, that's the one in the sewers, uh, back in Hell's Kitchen, but I'm not sure. So, okay, 2971, got to recall that. 9905. Funny, if I recall well, that's also the code of the canister, which is in the stasis chamber in the Boeing, if I recall well. Well, that's also the one of this canister you saw in the room, so... I don't know why they give you the code, because you don't really care, because from the computer with special option you can also open it, but, well, and stuff. I'm not reading the stuff, because uh, as I told you, it's not really interesting to see, but if you're playing for yourself, I strongly advise that you read most of the things you can, because that really helps to be in the atmosphere of the game. Yep, I was right at the head. So, two modes, this one is the aggressive defense system, it allows you to have, I don't know if it works really, it's an impulse, electronic impulse um, wave around you, which makes the rocket explode before reaching you, and the biggest your mode is, the more upgraded it is, the earlier the rockets are going to explode, and at the final stage the rockets explode as soon as the guys fire the rockets. So they're going to suicide basically by firing the rockets. So it's an interesting one, but uh, only if you want to upgrade to level 4. On level 1 it's not even useful, you still take damage. And this one... This one is a strange mode. That's not really a mode, it sounds more like a funny gadget. With this one you're able to spawn a um, little floating ball which upgrades with every level. On the first level it's really weak, it allows you to spy, there's a camera and this little flying ball. But the people see it, so when you're spotted they're going to destroy it. Uh, also it uses a lot of energy, 150 per minute. And then you upgrade it and uh, the, um, the spy as they call it, um, upgrades and it uh, acquires a cannon and it acquires a better cannon and it and, uh, it acquires an even stronger cannon so could be interesting too but uh, I do not advise this one personally like the other one as you've probably heard by now first the camera begins to ring but only for herself and then it makes the global alarm uh, ring so it has another effect. But as I told you, I bet this part has already been too long. I really didn't have time today and I've used far too much time. This game is so entertaining that even if I know it almost by heart and talking at the same time, I still love playing it so much that I don't see the time. But uh, yeah, I really have to go now. Uh, sorry for the abrupt end, sorry about the bad quality for today, um, that's really a matter of today and that I hope it's not going to uh, happen again, uh, at least not soon. Um, but I really have to leave, and we've accomplished quite a lot today actually, we're all, we've almost saved our brothers just around here. 
So, I still haven't found the capture from my outro, so until I find something better to say, see you next, um, probably for something a bit better than that, see ya.